Hello everyone, I'm River Fox and welcome to the channel. Now today we are carrying on with the Plankton AFK Endurance Build series. And for this one we are going to be working what is in my case Amplifier D and it is the one to the southwest of your map, just over here. So for this one then, uh, let's get let's get down here first of all. Now, majority of the spawn for this one is going to be around this area here. This is where majority of it is going to spawn from. Now, we do have quite a lot of block off set up because we are going to be trying to force them around this direction here. And what they will be doing is they will be coming through these traps. Any propane guys should drop their propanes at this point. And we are going to be flinging them off as much as possible around down here. So as they do come up through the traps here, they're going to get hit by these launchers all of the time. And they will get flung off down here. And then normally they wouldn't have anywhere that they can go once they have once they've gone down there then they will either land and they will land at this spot so i did block this off but they will try and come around here and they will try and take long route to go back up but there's not really any route up that they can actually get back to your amplifier. So it's entirely up to you whether you want to place a, a way for them to try and get back up or not. Because I did place a ramp there so that when they are flung off down here, they will head up along here. They will come back up there and they will repeat. Now we did... A while ago we did have a bug where they were getting launched off and they were literally just standing here they they were not moving at all now Fortnite have fixed that bug now but if you don't have anywhere for them to to actually go and if they do just stop there then they will automatically just despawn and respawn anyway so what i did is i put this this single ramp up here just to make them come up this direction so they don't despawn they will just constantly go through this loop and and go back and it does work pretty effectively now this is our home base um i'm gonna do this bit as a complete separate um build because this is my recycle tower if you have got the constructor base, which I do use sometimes for my builds, then you can build this, you can place your constructor base up at the top and you can just get back any amount of materials. But I will do that in a separate video just so we don't confuse things. Um, so yeah, that is that is pretty much the, the only um, setup for this amplifier. It's a lot of block off and not that many traps but it is extremely effective. And in fact, I don't even have any traps placed up here to kill them at spawns. Literally, it's just there as a lobber um, defense to prevent any of the lobbers from, from lobbing straight at our defenses. So for this then, the easiest way to start this, um, we'll do that bit as a separate, I think over there. Now in here, we do have then a, a natural bit of mountain here. So what we're going to do is from the edge of this, this mountain, like this, if you place down two tiles temporarily, okay, from this point, and at the end of this, this second tile that you've placed, you can then place a wall with a wooden wall spikes on it and once you've done that you can you can get rid of these two you won't need them anymore so once that one is in if you then come around to the side of it here and you're going to place another wall with a wall spike and then a second one with wall spikes and a third and a fourth and a fifth and a sixth one and they will all have wooden floor spikes on um, wooden wall spikes on them just to make sure that they are not going to try bashing at any of these walls and going through the block off. 
So once you get to the end of that sixth one, you're then going to go around to the side of it and you're going to place a sound wall. And on the floor, in front of it, you will place a tar pit. Now, just in front of that, you will have your edited wall, which is going to be on the left hand side, like that. Go forward one square and you're going to place another tar pit on the floor, another wall launcher then um, on your left hand side. Don't worry about anything up the top for now, we'll cover that after. Now, in front of you here, you will have another edited wall, which will be on the left hand side. And at this point, this is where it starts going off from the natural mountain edge. So there will be nothing underneath these. So from this, you're going to place a stairs with a wooden floor spikes on it. And to the left of that, you're going to place some wall lights. And directly above it, you're going to place a wall launcher. As you get to the top, you're going to have another edited wall on the left hand side, just like so. And then at the very top of these stairs, you're going to place a floor with a tar pit on it. <coughs> now from here on your left hand side, you're going to place a wall launcher. And directly in front, you'll have another edited wall on the left hand side. Move forward one more square and another tar pit on the floor. Another wall launcher on the left hand side. And another edited wall on the left, just like so. From here, we're going to place in another set of stairs now with a wooden floor spikes on it. To the left of that, you're going to have some wall lights and directly above that will be a wall launcher. Just at the top of the stairs, place another edited wall on the left hand side, just like so. From this point, make sure you place another floor piece then with a tar pit on it. Another wall launcher on your left hand side and another edited wall then directly in front just like so and move forward one more square again and another tar pit on the floor another wall launcher on the left and another edited piece then in front of you an edited wall and that is going to fetch us pretty much up to our amplifier so you can place this one structure in for now. Um, I'm going to just open it up just so you can see inside. All of these is, is just to do with our recycled tower. So I'm going to leave the rest of the, the build around there until later. So once you've placed this wall in, on top of this wall, you are going to place your, your ramp. Now you can either use your stairs or you can have your edited comb, whichever you prefer to do. And you're going to place one, two, and then three going high. You don't need to worry about going any higher than that because they're not going to be able to lob any further than that. So once you've done those three, move to your right and you are going to do another three going up as well. And then to your right again, so be the third row, and another three going high. To your right again will be the last row, the fourth row, and there will be another three going high from there as well. And that will, that will do that section. Now at this point is where it's going to drop down a little bit. So you need to drop down onto this wall which we've already built here we've already placed these walls so you're going to place a floor tile here and you are going to then place a second one and a third one and a fourth one and a fifth one now this is going to fetch you to some of our block off which you're going to finish off in a moment so we've got five going across come back to this square now and we're going to do some more lobber shield up here. So we've only got two high this time. So we got one and two. And then you fill those in going along these five tiles that we've done. And that is going to fetch you to, oh, to this end piece here. Now from this on the side, uh, right hand side of this tile, make sure you do place another two going up there. And that will finish the actual lobber shield for the side over there. Now, from here, you can come over to this tile that we've placed. And we are going to be placing some floor pieces going down now towards the west. So we've got one, two, 
three, four, five, six, and seven. So that will fetch you over to the end here. Now from this one, turn and point towards the south and you are gonna do another two going forward that way. Now if you move to your left one and from this one we are gonna do three. So you'll have one, two, and three. Now all you will need to do then is fill in all the gaps, all of these um, pieces, just fill them in all the way back to this point. So these will all be covered in here. So from this one, move, move forward from this tile, move forward one tile to your south, and then move to your left, and you're gonna place in another three going over there. Move to your left again, and you are gonna place another three going this way as well. And that will complete the, the main shield going up there. Now, the only thing that we haven't got connecting it all up now is this second row of tiles along here, which we've placed these bottom ones with our wall spikes on. They're already in there. So place a second row in, which is just going to make sure that everything is attached and nice and secure. So once that is done, we now need to do our block off, which is behind that. So if you come to this end piece, which you, the first section we started on, and if you come in here and face towards your south, now underneath here, you're gonna have your edited floor piece, which will be like this, pointing towards the south. And again, you can either use your ramps or you can use your edited cone pieces, whichever you prefer, it doesn't make any difference but make sure that they are pointing the stairs towards the south and uh, that wall is already on there that is fine so place a wall behind you as well just to to finish it off then from here move to your left and you're going to do the same you're going to have another edited floor piece a stairs pointing to south and a wall behind you so that will be our second one move to your left and we got our third one of the same exactly the same piece and then we've got another one exactly the same there with a wall behind us and another one and another one now you'll know when to stop because it will it will reach this wall which is already being placed in there so we've got one two three four five we got six of them going across there okay from here now we do have then, we've placed all our walls in, we do have a bit under here, which is actually, this is where the actual natural bit of the mountain stops. So for this bit, we don't need to worry about placing a wall in there because nothing is gonna get past that, they're just gonna fall down if they do. So from this, we have got exactly the same as in front, another six, um, Sorry, another five on this row. We miss out the last one because it hits the mountain. So we've got our edited floor piece. We have our backward stairs and no wall on this piece here. Don't need to worry about that. So we do exactly the same for the second one with the wall and the third one and the fourth one and the fifth one. And um, again, we don't need to worry about any pieces in there because they're not gonna go anywhere. So once you do that, you will get again to this natural bit of ramp, which is underneath here. And we've got this natural bit of mountain. So you don't need to place anything in there. Come across one square. And for this one, we are just gonna have in our wall, standard wall. And we're gonna place three of those coming in. Now, once those walls are in, on top of two pieces of these walls, so this wall and this wall, you are gonna have your, your standard floor piece. Now, for the top of this, I've got the cone, which is pretty much this shape, like so. And you're gonna have one then, which is gonna be facing towards your southeast here, and the other one is gonna be facing towards the southwest that will be on top of those two floor pieces. Once they are in, you can place two more walls and then do exactly the same as this one. You will have two edited cones like that 
on top and that's going to block off all of that row of of natural ramp and everything that is going in there and stop anything from getting through now the only other bit of block off that we've got here is this section going up here because there's another natural ramp under here so from this the edge of this bit of mountain if you place a wall with a wooden floor um with a wooden wall spikes on to the left place another one with wooden wall spikes and to the left again a third one with wooden wall spikes on it don't need to worry about the sides that is fine and then on top of these is exactly the same as we've got over there so we've got floor pieces on top of those two walls and edited cones on top of those and then on top of this we got exactly the same for the next row two walls two floor pieces and two edited cones like that so they're gonna look a bit like this from the top that's what they will look like so that is going to cover all of the the block off and everything there for it um don't forget as i said make sure you do place a ramp or a stairs over here to make sure anything we lob off has got a route to go back up otherwise they may get despawned and do make sure you just block this section off over here as well to make sure nothing can actually get in there, which again is just exactly the same edited floor pieces, backward ramp, um, surrounded by walls and some wooden wall spikes in the front just to prevent them from standing there causing any damage to it and that is going to do all of your defenses for this amplifier from the south not not too much is is probably one of the easier uh trap tunnels and easier amplifier builds that i've got but i hope it does help you out if it does, don't forget to hit that like, smash a subscribe, turn on the notification bell, check out the description for the link for the playlist and also links for Twitter, Discord and Twitch where I do stream quite regularly. And if you do enjoy and it does help you, please consider using code RIVERFOX. It will help me a great deal. But until the next one, I hope you have a lovely day and stay safe, my friends.